Before we jump into Corticon JS Studio, let's quickly review how we can access both the rules themselves that will be uh, generated into the Dynamic Form Decision Service, and likewise how we can uh, download the test driver template that we were going over a moment ago uh, within the browser to test the actual behavior of the generated decision service. So here I am on the Corticon GitHub page. So we're going to go into uh, first the dynamic forms folder CSC and we're going to take this link now this is one way that we can access pretty quickly the uh, sub repository here or just what we want is to go to down git dot github dot io paste the link download and this is going to uh, download into a zip file that whole folder and that'll be what we want to uh, use in order to refer back to and, and uh, generate our decision service bundle into uh, this particular directory, as we'll go over in a moment. But suffice to say, this is where the actual dynamic form that we'll interact with as the end user testing it out will live. Uh, we're going to next go into how to uh, download the rules themselves. So first, I'll just extract this for now into my downloads folder. I'll also go back and navigate up to dynamic forms and then all the way up from there to importable rule projects and dynamic form samples. So the one we're covering here is this homeowner's insurance application and we'll copy that link as well. Paste that in its place. Download that. And what we're going to do is now import this project that we just imported or that we just downloaded via the zip file into Corticon Studio. Uh, 